Mensen zeggen wel eens uh, dat de maan wit heel agressief is, maar hij is gewoon normaal. Len is een heel kind, caring kid. So he loves animals. He's got a cat, he got these fish. And for him, he really likes to interact with the animals. Um, he doesn't really know how to talk about his own emotions, so that's why I made a parallel with him talking about his fish, the angel fish, which is a really aggressive kind of fish. But if you raise him right, he will turn out to be a quite an okay fish in the fish tank. So I kind of made that parallel storytelling. Uh. Lello, 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 één, luister, twee. Hij deed keihard Drie. Weg daar. Hij komt. Doei. Raak me niet aan, man! Leno! I knew that I wanted to make a film about a boy with a problem. Um, so I went to different schools to do some research and then I found Leno. He was actually the first one who was, who was saying, I'm very special, you should make a film about me. So then I couldn't resist. Ik leef mijn eigen leven. Ja. <laughs> ik niet. Ik leef mijn leven zoals ik het wil. So I wanted to show the love that he has for his children and even though he doesn't maybe have the right tools to raise them in a way that would be the most perfect way, I wanted to show that he is really trying with everything that he has in him and that in the end it's the love that, you know, conquers everything. Toen ik vroeger boos werd, toen klapte ik er gelijk op. En waarom? Waarom denk je? Weet ik niet. Omdat ik niet kon praten. En dat moet jij ook eens leren. Leno, praten. Duik, hè? So he was really involved in making the movie. He was always very busy with what should we dress today, how should we dress up, what kind of shirt will I wear, what will look good on camera. So it was really a process of us together making this film. So the mask was his own idea. Um, I think he felt a little bit safer to do the interview talking from behind the mask, because then it's not really him and then he didn't have to look me in the eye. Um, and the aspect of the laser pen that he keeps shining into the lens was his own idea as well. So I kind of went with it and I actually liked how it turned out. I find it not leuk that mama has two years in the week and that there is bij is. It's a good thing Ik wil mama vaker zien omdat ik mama wel eens gewoon mis. En dat wil ik niet. I wasn't allowed to really tell what the problem of mom is in the film, so I kind of let that a little bit vague. Um, but I think it's a big contribution to why the way Leno is the way that he is. So it's a little bit too bad that I couldn't tell it. But I think with all the coloring plates that he is showing, most people who have a similar experience in life will know what that references to. En deze vind ik ook echt heel en heel en heel en heel mooi. Voor mijn allerliefste Leno. I think as a society we're also very we're always very quick to judge people who are um, acting in a way that's outside of the ordinary. So I hope with this film, um, when you see a little boy like Leno who is still cute and not intimidating because he's not an adult yet, if you kind of get to understand the way a child like this lives and the background that he is from, then maybe when you see him, when he's all grown up and not cute anymore, you will have a little bit more of empathy for him because you kind of can see the vulnerable child that he once was. Het is ook mijn meeste met jongens op school. Dat hij zei uh, dat ik nooit meer gewoon op een normale school kan zitten. They came to the premiere, they got a lot of feedback, a lot of applause, a lot of compliments. So I hope for Leno's self-esteem that this film really will give him like a boost in the way he looks at himself and that he, he as well is a hero and that people, people laughed at his jokes, people liked the things that he did in the film. So I saw him grow like two inches, three inches during the premiere and that was nice.